Camping is a great way to get back to nature, but nature in the north is a little bit different than it is in the south. Up here, you gotta be prepared for everything, from snow to scorching sun, sometimes in the same day. No joke. Fortunately, coming prepared will allow you to enjoy yourself in any element. In this video, we're gonna talk about what you need to wear, what you need to camp, and where you can do all of this. From car camping to hiking into the backcountry and a few campgrounds in between, let's dive right in. Hey everyone, I'm Emily Hofs, longtime Yukoner and lover of outdoor adventures. There is nothing better than spending the day out hitting the trails, then heading back to camp and getting cozy around the campfire. Today, we're gonna go over Camping 101 to make sure you're prepared for the great Yukon outdoors. Layers, layers, layers. I cannot say this enough. You wanna be able to peel them off like a banana or pile them on in a blizzard. You wanna start with a breathable, moisture wicking base layer that's gonna pull the sweat away from your skin. Lightweight merino wool is the best. From there, you wanna add an insulating layer like fleece. This material will keep you warm even if it gets a little bit wet. You can also bulletproof yourself with a hard shell. And this is gonna block the wind and rain and the extreme kind of weather that we tend to get up here. The most essential item in my experience, regardless of season, regardless of weather, you wanna bring a small down jacket. It's a great addition because it's lightweight, it squishes down really small, and it really packs a lot of extra warmth. You have no idea how many times this has come in handy when you run into inclement weather in a matter of minutes. A ball cap is gonna block the sun, and this is just as important as traditional toque, keep your noggin warm, or a buff. This little guy is small, beautiful, multifunctional. It'll fit in anywhere. It covers your head, your ears, your neck, wipes away the snots, I cannot recommend this enough. It can get cold out there, even on the lower peaks. So you want to have a good pair of wool socks. This will keep your feet cool in the heat, but also warm if it gets cold. Then you're going to lace up a pair of good hikers with really strong ankle support because our trails are a bit more rugged than you're used to seeing down south. They're rocky and lots of roots. Speaking of rugged, no matter where you are in the Yukon, you are in bear country. Remember to always pack your spray, be bear aware. You wanna keep this in a spot that is accessible at all times. There's no point in carrying it if you're gonna have it stuffed at the bottom of your pack. Don't worry, we've got a whole separate video coming for you on this topic. And no layers are complete without a coating of this sweet, sweet nectar. I'm not gonna lie, the mosquitoes can be a whole thing here sometimes, but finding the right bug spray to add to your outfit makes all the difference. You don't need to suffer. <laughs> For camping, you're gonna want a tent with a good fly that reaches all the way to the ground for good rain protection and probably opt for a warmer sleeping setup. You want a bag that's ideally set to something at minus seven, even if you're doing a summer trip. This little guy can be a lifesaver. It's a lightweight silk sleeping bag liner and can add a precious few degrees of warmth on a cold night. It's saved my butt more times than I can count. It's not a luxury, it's a necessity. You wanna bring a sleeping mask, unless the sunlight at night doesn't bother you. Quite dark, very good. Remember up here in June, the sun doesn't set until around midnight and the sky stays pretty much light until sunrise, which is just a few short hours after that. Finally, they say home is where you pitch your tent, but check to make sure you haven't chosen someone else's home before you get too comfy. All of the land here is the traditional territory of one or more of the Yukon's 14 First Nations. So you shouldn't treat it as vacant and free for the tenting. You can check out our website to find the locations of more than 40 highway campgrounds. But keep in mind these are first come, first served, and they fill up really quickly in the summertime. So you wanna have a backup plan in place. You can book with one of the private campground operators that operate throughout the territory, or set the intention of heading in a direction that allows you to check in at multiple campgrounds before you find your perfect spot. Wherever you end up, you must make sure to check your site offers caching for your food. If you can't lock it in your car, you need a secure spot to store it unless you wanna lose it and make sure to pack everything out that you have brought in. This includes garbage, bacon grease, toilet paper, you name it. Nothing stays behind, even if you've burned it. Of course, this is just the tip of the mountaintop when it comes to making sure your trip goes off without a hitch. Tell us in the comments below what you have to bring whenever you go camping. As always, we hope you found this video helpful in planning your adventures, and we'll see you out there exploring the Yukon.